hello friends this is the fourth video tutorial inside the video lecture series on data visualization in python with the help of this matplotlib library so uh, we'll see what we are going to see in lesson number four so in this lesson we are going to see how to plot the scatter chart so let's see first of all what is scatter chart here so um, let's see some example scatter chart looks like this so scatter chart is used for uh, specially displaying the individual coordinate into either two dimension or three dimension uh, space that how your data is distributed in terms of your spatial dimension so let's see how we can uh, generate this uh, scatter plot and then we will see that how the scatter chart is very useful for the analyzing of our machine learning data so scatter chart let's display some random uh, number better uh, we will manually right we'll generate y also so this is x dimension and uh, another is a y dimension So how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We'll make it 10. 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So we have a total uh, 10 values for x dimension and y values for the x dimension. So what the scatter plot uh, will do? It will generate. this Cartesian coordinate point 2 comma 3 or 45 comma 6 6 comma 1 it will take it and it will display as a dot in a scatter chart so we are using this scatter function in this case of a matplotlib library so this is our earlier example let's close it let's run this okay so it has generated total 10 values so you can see that there are some of the values uh, around 2 comma 3 and which are very near and too much uh, we have just generated a 10 data point so instead of 10 data point let's generate some random so we'll get a more idea about uh, how it is being generated so i'll quickly do np dot floor our numerical python library functionality i will use it to generate it dot random dot rand 1000 let's take a 1000 generate y also okay let's close it and let's oh and we got some error okay floor has some typo uh, normally I do this typo <laughs> okay yeah so it's correctly visible uh, as we have used this uh, uniform distributed function so it has uniformly distributed all those data it doesn't look like much uh, random data but you can see that uh, what are the based on their cartesian coordinate of x comma y pair it has put the dot at every uh, location so this way uh, uh, this scatter plot uh, uh, works how it is related to especially our machine learning uh, system so if you consider this machine learning uh, system you have a lot of data uh, along the your x axis and uh, your target value at a y axis so you want to classify that how many are uh, forming some kind of uh, uh, group in this area or somewhere this area especially for your classification kind of problem in case of regression also you can see that how your data is moving uh, into different direction based on increasing or decreasing values of your horizontal axis so this way scatter plot will be very helpful so that's it uh, for uh, this this lecture 
uh, i hope you enjoy listening this uh, video in a subsequent lecture we'll see about uh, another kind of plots like stack plot or pie plot please do comment like and subscribe it